my recent conversation with my account manager, uh, we were talking about the auction overlap. Now, auction overlap is really something that uh, I didn't pay much attention. But after discussing with my account manager, I mean, for those who know that we are actually now a preferred agency and we have this account manager that we can actually get in touch every week. Um, so one thing I particularly I learned from my account manager this round is about auction overlap. Now, what is auction overlap? And what is even Facebook Ads Inspection 2? How many of you actually use this in Inspection 2? Now, let me bring up the screen. So I'm just going to go over to my, you know, so um, I'm just go over to my Facebook Ads Manager. So this is my Facebook Ads Manager. Inspection, inspection 2, Inspect 2 is over here. This is the Inspection 2. And then uh, it's only available inside Ad Set. If you go back to the campaign level, you don't see it at the campaign level. You only have view charts and all that. But inside the ad set level, then you have this inspection, inspect to. And it's also not available in the ad level. As you can see here, there is nothing here. So it's inside the ad set level. Now, what you can do with inspect to is that, you know, when you go in, you go into the inspect to, you'll be able to see, you know, all these kind of other things. And of course, you can pull out those different comparisons similar to the view chart, you know, the chart comparison. However, they actually offer a few more insights over here, which is first thing first. This is the in one of the important one, which is the first time impression, meaning that how many num how many percent of these people actually seeing your ads in the first time? So as you can see here, the first time impression is actually declining. So that indicates that you know you should start looking into your exclusion because um, eventually, if you scroll down further, it will show that your lifetime frequency, or this is what we call the cumulative frequency. You can also see this inside your uh, so-called uh, view chart section. That shows that you know the cumulative frequency is really increasing. That could be ad fatigue. So what you need to do now when you're really seeing this trend coming up, you need to look into your exclusion, meaning that you know you probably want to make your exclusion a little bit more strict. Like let's say if you're only excluding people who watch your video up to 10 seconds, uh, maybe you need to go to my maybe 25% or 50% because you want to restrict more people, you want to push more people out from seeing this advertisement to control the frequency. That's also something. However, that's what, not what we want to talk about. Is, I mean, what we want to we'll talk about today here is the auction overlap. Now, what is auction overlap? Okay, basically, um, it doesn't have any indicator. Now, auction overlap means the, over, the auction or so-called the audience overlapping among your ad sets. So let's say, for example, if you have ad sets, uh, I mean, for those people who actually practice some method call, you know, you have tens or twenties of ad sets, you know, running simultaneously, and then you want to see which interest gets you the best result and all that. So when you have this kind of scenario or so-called campaign structure going, one of the things that you want to over you want to take a look here is the auction um, overlap. Now auction overlap means how many how many percent of your ad sets are so-called overlapping among each other? The audiences are overlapping among each other. Now when you I mean the standard or so-called the preferred ratio or percentage is below twenty percent, meaning that you know you just want to control everything below twenty percent. So when you are higher than twenty percent, what Facebook is going to do is they're going to stop. It's gonna remove certain ad sets from the auction mechanism. You have to understand Facebook advertising is an auction and bidding mechanism whereby the highest bidder gets to show the advertisements. Now, now when you have too many ads going into the same auction, that simply means that you're competing among each other. So one of the uh, risks that you're facing here is you're definitely paying a lot more than you should because you're actually competing among each other. So you're bidding against each other. So uh, if naturally you should be getting maybe 20 cents per click, uh, you'll be pushed to maybe 50 cents per click, not because of other ads, because of your own ads. So when this thing happens, certain ads will be removed from the auction marketplace and eventually your whole cost is going to come up. So what Facebook is uh, recommending here is to keep this auction overlap rate at below 20%. So how do you do that? You make sure that you don't have that many ad sets. Remember, you know, the campaign liquidity, which is the machine learning part, Facebook really discourage us to break our campaign into many ad sets. So if you practice this kind of this kind of method where you launch campaign usually with maybe 20 to 30 interests to see which one works better and you scale down, uh, this could be the risk because you're actually not taking full advantage of you know the so-called machine learning that Facebook has developed so far. So that's what I want to share with you quickly regarding the auction overlap.